Hello everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to talk about a design pattern in Power BI to calculate the top n value uh, from a group but in a dynamic way. So uh, when we are going to calculate a, a, a kind of top n value that n can change to be top 2, 3, 4 or whatever, we actually, uh, it's better to do it in DAX. So in the previous video, I showed that how you can do it statically. So for example, you know that always you need the latest and the second latest one. You can do it in Power Query. But uh, if you want to see the dynamic one one of the way is actually using dax uh, and uh, just by that so uh, as you can see this is an example from my previous video that i done the static one in power query so here as you can see here i have a data set that shows the uh, actually items and um, shows the start date the price and as you can see i have different start date uh, of the each item and each product so and each of them has different price but in some scenario i'm interested to see the first the latest one the second latest one or uh, i want to see each of them you know to compare them uh, to see what the price has changed. So this is my data and what I need, for example, I need this. So I need to actually show the latest and the second latest here, or it can be third uh, latest or whatever. So it can be this. So I want to actually, instead of showing this table, I want to show this one based on the uh, timing and also based on the uh, price that was here so finally at the end if you compare them together you will see that we get the latest one that we have so uh, to do that uh, we need to create a uh, actually i back to the uh, the first one that we have so i'm going to copy this chart over there the next page so we can see that one so this is my original data uh, i'm going to create a new measure for that so i call this new measure um, call it ranking items so let's call it rank <coughs> items and here uh, first of all uh, the the function that i'm going to use uh, the name is rank uh, X. So a rank X is actually is going to look at your whole table and start to ranking based on specific calculation. But my aim is not to just rank the everything over here. So my uh, aim is actually is to rank based on the each group. So I want to have this table and then ranking i want this table and then ranking and find the latest or the second latest one i want the thing so i don't need the whole table so for this function i need to provide a subset of table that is actually all of these based on items so to do that to pass so the first function as you can see here if i just showing to you so if i say rank x you see is uh, ask for table and then the expression that the expression should be in a calculate uh, format so i'm going to first calculate the uh, sub table that i need so i'm going to uh, create a variable i'll call it a small table or sub table whatever you want sub table item and uh, this uh, value is actually this is going to uh, get this data from i'm going to filter that one filter the uh, table that i have so the name is table table item and i'm going to filter that one based on the the filter the filter actually is based on the uh, item and is going to select the item that uh, the value is the same so when i said i saw here i said i want to table i want to filter the item based on the selected item so for example if the item one is selected all of the 
table that has item one should be returned. So I use the selected value uh, function and uh, based on the item, actually item I have in table, I have too many item here, I think this one. So this actually return me the um, kind of the table that's just one of these so here i pass that one so here um here i said that okay i need to return this value and here i pass sub um item that is here so now actually i have my table now in this table i'm going to find a rank and the rank can happen through the finding the maximum uh, actually maximum date because i want to sort based on the start date. i want to rank based on the start date that i have over there so it's a start date and then um after that um uh, so yep just i don't want to put add any filter through the calculate uh, the next step is order i don't put any order but i mentioned that i want to have it as descending so just wait till it works so yep it's work now i'm going to add this one to the uh, to the actually the table that i have over here so i get a everything is i return is one so what is happened the problem is that i need to return a table that actually related to just that one the whole everything regarding that so in a small table i need to mention i want everything that uh, they are based on the uh, actually item so i need to specify that otherwise it's just going to select one row for me so i said i want the whole of the table so uh, it's back to here so when i select the smaller table I, the first one before putting all it just returned me the one uh, row but when i said actually i want the whole table that is going to if i select for example item one is going to uh, actually return the whole uh, table that we have returning one so the all means that is going to sort all based on that or all for item two or all for item three so just remember to doing that so now you can see the ranking and now is up to you that how you want to actually to uh, kind of see this ranking and how to select that one so for example on the filter of the this visual uh, you want to says i want to see everything that the rank is uh, for example greater or equal three uh, so you can see all of them that they are greater than three or greater than or equal to three so you just see the one that uh, they are uh, kind of their rank is, is less than or equal three or uh, actually you can see you can apply whatever you want to see that to see so it's not it's become dynamic with the help of the filter over here so this is the kind of the uh, uh, approach we can apply through that so it shows rank one and two so you know the rank one means higher the latest one rank two uh, is the second latest one based on the uh, formula that we put here so the ranking is comes from this part that we put calculate based on the maximum table start date so two important things about this formula is first of all uh, when i want to apply the ranking i want to add apply ranking on the group so first of all i need to create a sub table and uh, this sub uh, table item is actually should be uh, kind of selected based on the each item and to see the whole table i need to use the function all over here and in a second one now i use the rank x1 that actually get this uh, table that is our sub table over here and is going to apply a condition expression based on the start date because we are going to see based on this the latest date and the second latest days so that's why i use the max function and the uh, actually a start date as descending so this is a kind of the uh, approach that calculate 
uh, this uh, finding the top n value for a group uh, dynamically so you can combination of the filter and this uh, DAX code you can actually achieve that uh, this is uh, the second approach that I showed there is a third approach to create a snapshot in power query uh, so in future I will uh, talk about that thanks so much